welcome to what I believe is part, um, part whatchamacallit, part 11 of Danganronpa V3 Kill in Harmony. So we're just going to get right back into the swing of things. And my microphone will be off for most of this because I'm eating food and you don't want to hear me eating food. So, microphone off now. Even if we rule out the hidden door. shortage of hiding spots. There's piles of books all over. Since the culprit was there before the cameras were placed, they could have been hiding there, you know. They took out Rantaro and took off. But if the culprit killed him and ran away, wouldn't they have been caught on camera? Not if they went back into hiding. Right after killing Rantaro. Then, once everyone's gathered around the bot, all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. We join everyone and we'd be none the wiser. Everyone's gathered around the bot. All they gotta do is act like they just ran in. Rejoin everyone and we'd be none the wiser. Shoot! Hmm. 
not if they went back into hiding. Right after killing Rantaro. Then, once everyone's gathered around the bot, all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. Rejoin everyone and we'd be none the wiser. I'll cut your words! The culprit met him inside the library? That doesn't seem possible, though. Let's hear it, then. What's your reason? If you take a look at the three pictures from the camera we placed near the front door... This is when Shuichi and I met up with Kaito and Tenko, and then rushed in. This one shows the other four people running in after they heard Tenko scream. And finally, everyone else coming in after hearing the body discovery announcement. You can clearly see everyone entering the library in these pictures. It wouldn't make sense if there was someone hiding in the library the whole time. Well, that does cover everyone now, doesn't it? I guess the one who still has a ways to go is me. Don't worry about it. It's better to think about each possibility anyway. Right, Shuichi? Hmm? Ah, um, yes. So the real question is how the culprit entered and exited the library. We cannot continue until we address that problem first. It's quite the mystery. How did the killer avoid being caught by the cameras? Almost like they were invisible. Oh, but it wasn't me. My magic can only make you half invisible. Your upper half, to be specific. That's kind of a half-baked invisibility spell, isn't it? But both doors to library had hidden cameras on them. How about the vent in the library? Maybe they came in through there. But Shuichi and I were on lookout in the classroom with the connecting vent. The culprit waited until Kaede and Shuichi weren't looking, then turned invisible. Himiko is really gung-ho about her invisible culprit theory! Um, yeah, no. There's no way someone snuck into the library through the vent. Cameras, I also stacked some books in front of the vent. If someone did crawl in and out from the vent, the books would have collapsed. While we were investigating, they were still neatly stacked the way I placed them. Maybe they put the books back when they left the room. That would be quite difficult to achieve on such a narrow bookcase. If we've ruled out the vent and doors, then how'd the culprits get in and out of the library? Maybe... Divine intervention? Gonta no can think of any other way to enter. Eureka! I know how the culprit got in the library! The front door! Um, have you been paying attention? The camera would have taken their picture. Not if the culprit timed their movements around the camera intervals. Huh? Intervals? What is that? Basically, the culprit knew about the cameras and their intervals. So they snuck into the library between camera shots to avoid appearing in the photos. <laughs> I know, I know. Beauty and brains. Why? It's just not fair. Mew, what's this interval you're talking about? Huh? Oh, now you're asking me. A 
after the shutter snaps, the camera can't take a new photo for 30 seconds. Because I redesigned the cameras to auto-roll the film instead of having to do it manually. That's the first time I'm hearing about this. Why didn't you tell us from the start? I told your little beta boy toy after I gave you the remodeled cameras. What? Sh Shuichi? Uh, I I'm sorry. I I guess I forgot to tell you. How could you forget to tell me? I didn't think it would affect the plan. I I didn't realize it would matter. I guess I just forgot to mention it. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I forgot. What a pitiful excuse. Yeah... That's pretty much a lie. N no it's not a lie He probably just forgot. There was so much going on at the time. It's only natural to forget, you know? Yeah... Let's put that aside for now and talk about the camera intervals. Each interval lasted for 30 seconds, correct, Mew? Yeah, sure. I'll explain it again to you mushheads. The three cameras that Kai Idiot and Puichi place go off when they pick up movement. From there, it takes 30 seconds for the film to auto-roll to the next photo. So, for 30 seconds, anyone could have entered the library without their photo being taken? That may have been enough time to kill Rantaro and exit the library. It's definitely enough time! You just gotta move at lightning speed! I see, I see! Then there's no doubt the culprit made use of the camera's intervals! That means the culprit was me all along, since she knew about the intervals! I have an alibi. Remember the dining hall? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> who else knew about the intervals? Hmm. Now, who was it again? Shuichi. Well then, does this mean that he is the culprit we have been seeking? Shuichi! Hey, what gives, Shuichi? Shuichi would never do that. Right, Shuichi? You had better speak soon. Your silence only damns you further. That's up already! Did you kill Rantaro? Hey, Shuichi, what's gotten into you? Don't tell me you're gonna plead the fifth now. <laughs> oh man, this is getting good! Entertain me, peasants! Well now. Now 
mauvais. so it's okay. Yeah, but there's one thing we do know. The line between victim and attacker ain't as clear as you might think. I suppose that's one lesson you can take away from this case. The threshold of an amazing I cut off the leg before the poison spread. By spring, flowers will grow from the stump. speaks volumes. I fucking knew you were the culprit. Wait just a minute. None of that is possible. Shuichi was with me the whole time we were on lookout. When are you suggesting Shuichi killed Rantaro? Were you really together the whole time? Huh? What do you mean? I'm asking if you two were on lookout together the whole time. Well, I guess we weren't together the whole time. when Shuichi went to kill Rantaro! No! Shuichi wouldn't kill anyone! Don't become emotional. We must seek the truth in a calm and logical manner. Or all our lives will be lost here. I'm not being emotional here. I'm saying it with conviction! didn't ring until after Shuichi returned to the classroom. It only rang after Rantaro moved the hidden door, which means he was still alive. If Shuichi was with me when the alarm went off, then that means he's not the culprit. By the way, I want to confirm one thing with you, Kaede. Who set the security sensor on the bookcase? It was Shuichi, right? Huh? Shuichi was the one who set up the security sensor. What about it? Did you actually check for yourself if the sensor was set on the bookcase, Kaede? No, I didn't check. Did it ever occur to you that Shuichi could have lied about setting the sensor? Hmm? A, a lie? Shuichi pretended to place the sensor on the hidden bookcase door. But in actuality, he was holding it the whole time. And when he met up with you, he secretly triggered the sensor... ...to make the security alarm go off. 
That would cause Kaede to assume that someone had moved the bookcase. I see! Sneaky little fucker! The security said... ...center was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As he turns out, he had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly moved it in order to trigger the alarm. So when Kaede heard the sensor go off, she figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only an idiot can make that mistake. The security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time! The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly... The security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly moved it. <laughs> the security sensor was armed, but... The moving bookcase isn't what- No, that's wrong! Wait a minute! This is weird. If the security sensor wasn't placed, then...
we wouldn't have been able to take that picture. We were only able to get it because the sensor was triggered by the hidden door. Oh, that? Easy to explain. Well, you see... Uh... I guess you're right. Sorry, I didn't think that far ahead. You're giving up that easily? Yeah... I mean, whatevs. I made a mistake, big deal. You speak as if you knew that from the start. Even I was taken in. So you see? Shuichi can't be the culprit! Now wait just a minute. The security sensor had a power supply, so what if it went like this? The security sensor was set up on the bookshelf, and Shuichi had its receiver. However, Shuichi turned the receiver off. That would get you a picture, but no alarm when Rantaro moved the bookcase. Then, when Shuichi says he's gonna check the basement, he actually goes to the library. And thanks to the 30 second interval, he's got time to go in after Rantaro. He could have collected the sensor from the hidden bookcase after killing Rantaro. I see. Then he caused the receiver to go off in front of Kaede to trick her. It's certainly plausible, considering that Shuichi knew about the intervals. Uh, how needlessly complicated. But I guess it's not impossible. Then, Shuichi really is the culprit? <laughs> so the ultimate detective is the killer. What a plot twist! Wait! Why do you guys think he's the culprit? Shuichi... Please say something. Why aren't you saying anything? Shuichi, what's wrong? You're not culprit, are you? Hey, you gonna say anything? We'll all vote for you if you don't. Are you okay with being the culprit? Are you ready to turn yourself in? Let's go over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Shuichi also had the receiver. But he had it turned off. And so when Rantaro moved the bookcase, a picture was taken without the alarm sounding. Then taking advantage of the camera's interval timer, Shuichi hid in the library and murdered the shit out of Rantaro! And then, he grabbed the security sensor from the bookcase and returned to the lookout spot. Afterward, he set off the receiver in front of Kaede on purpose to make her think the murder had just happened. 
happened? Praise be to Atua! We've solved this case! Soshiichi was just losing Kaede. Let's go over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Shuichi also had the receipt. Shoot! Let's go over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Shuichi also had the receipt. But he had it turned off. And so when Rantaro moved to the bookcase, the picture was taken without the alarm sounding. Then taking advantage of the camera's interval timer. Afterward, he set off the receiver in front of the Of course, think the murder had just happened. Praise be to Atua! We've solved this case! So she needs you this case. Let's go over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Shuichi also had the receipt. But he had it turned off. And so when the broke... moved to the bookcase, the picture was taken without the alarm sounding. Then taking advantage of the camera's interval timer. Afterward, he said. Let's go over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Shuichi also had the receiver. But he had it turned off. And so when Rantara moved to the bookcase, the picture was taken without the alarm sounding. Then taking advantage of the camera's interval timer. He set off Let's go over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Shuichi also. Let's go over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Shuichi also had the receiver. I turn this lie into the truth. Sorry, you guys. I forgot to tell you something important. Forgot? To tell you the truth, it was me. I had the receiver. Huh? So that's why there's no way Shuichi could have turned off the receiver. If that is true, then the entire premise of the argument thus far is wrong. Is this true, Kaede? Uh, of course! Come on, would I lie to you guys? That only screw yourself over. If we mess up, you're dead too, you know. Or perhaps you wanted to cover for Shuichi, even at the cost of your life. Huh? I cannot imagine why anyone would risk their life to lie on another's behalf. Words from a true heartless robot. Emotions are only for meat bags. That is a harmful stereotype. I can produce heartfelt remarks through calculations. Like less than three? Those kinds of calculations? It's not so unthinkable. All hearts are blind when faced with radiant love. Doing anything for the one you love. Hasn't everyone felt that way before? <laughs> I most certainly have, at least. How creepy you are! I'm sure that person didn't want your love! 
Kaede and Shuichi are pretty buddy-buddy with each other, so I wouldn't doubt that. Plus, the way Kaede just acted. Did right now? I'm pretty sure she lied. A talented liar like me can spot other people's lies easily. Well, what do you guys think? To believe or not to believe, Kaede? Um, I do want to believe Kaede, but Shuichi does seem pretty suspicious. He has been strangely quiet for a while now. Which is classic degenerate male behavior. Yeah, I agree. Shuichi is the only person here who's suspicious. So we all agree that Puichi did it? Then let's just vote already! Alright, this seems like a good place to pause. So I will come back and play more of this next time on whatever this show is. It's not really a show, it's just me uploading videos to YouTube. Or streaming if you're watching us on Twitch. I don't know why you'd be watching us on Twitch though. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching and I will see you next time on the flip side.